You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm? Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another beauty video. I'm really excited about this particular video because I've never done anything like this before. I usually stick to very classic makeup looks, kind of basic stuff, and I played today. This is not a very clean tutorial. If you're looking to do specific things, I would definitely watch my other videos. This was just having fun and kind of just you doing your makeup with me. So I hope that you guys will enjoy that. I hope you guys can follow along with it. I hope it's not too confusing. I wanted to do a very whimsical look, great for the summer, and then something that also incorporated the, the new baby doll um, makeup trend, I guess that's everybody's doing with the freckles and the bright blush all over the face to kind of make you look sick and flushed. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Alrighty, so I've got my foundation on, I've got my eyebrows done, and then I also got my pin curls pinned. If you guys want to see how I did my foundation and my eyebrow makeup, I will link my everyday makeup tutorial either here and also down in the description box so you guys can check it out if you haven't already. I'm gonna start off with, don't judge how this looks, um, the Milk Eyeliner Pencil, Jumbo Eyeliner Pencil, I think. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cover my eyes with this because I like to use this as a base. I'm just gonna cover that. There's no really rhyme or reason to it. I just kinda like put it there. I'm gonna take my finger and blend it out. I find that when I use a white base, especially when I'm using colored eyeshadow, it helps make it pop more and also helps it stay on. And I find that this is better than using a eyeshadow primer because I've used those in the past. I just find that this works better. And it definitely gives you much more of a dramatic look. Now this is the tricky part because I've got to figure out what I want to do because I really don't actually know what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and take the Bare Minerals X Factor. I don't use Bare Mineral eyeshadow a lot, but this I've had this for years and I actually really like this color. Can you see that? Bare Minerals X Factor. It's like a neon purple pink. It's really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this MAC brush. This is the MAC 164S brush. That's really pretty. Look at that, that's pretty. It's like a, it's a lilac, you know, like on the eye it looks lilac. You can get away with doing stuff like this in the summertime versus in the winter because it just doesn't, it doesn't hit the same. I'm using another Bare Mineral eyeshadow, which is the Overjoyed eyeshadow. This color, it is a really pretty pink. I'm gonna start in the corner of my eye and work out. It's very similar to the X Factor color. It's just a little pinker. And that's what I want because I kind of just wanted to use it to blend. I'm gonna take the MAC Satellite Dreams eyeshadow. This is what it looks like. Satellite Dreams, it's cool. I'm going to take my MAC 224 SE brush and I'm going to go ahead and lightly work this in. I'm kind of moving upward with my brush to kind of play with that. It's very light. I like my makeup to be light. I don't like it too dark. Next, I'm going to take the BH Cosmetic um, Afternoon Rendezvous 16 color palette. Um, I really like BH Cosmetics. I've used them for a very long time and I just feel like affordable, quality, I can't go wrong. And I use a lot of this on um, clients that I've had in the past when I've done makeup. And I love the palettes that they have. So I'm gonna take this color here. It's like a pink, bright pink. It doesn't have a name on it, so it's just that color. And I'm gonna place this just lightly 
in the middle of my eye. I just want to see what this does. Okay, okay. That's not bad. That's actually really cute. My inspiration is actually from a song that I put in my Portugal video, which I probably will put it in this video too. It's such a good song. And it uses audio from Alice in Wonderland. And I don't know why, but it just really inspired me. So now we've got some crazy colors like this. We're gonna take that blending brush that we used and we're gonna just blend this like tapping almost. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take back the X Factor color from Bare Minerals that I first put on my eyes and I'm gonna go over that area and kind of work on top of it to help blend everything. So now we got three layers of colors as you can see. We're just going to continue to add on to those colors. I'm going to take the MAC um, Fig color. This is what it looks like. It is a matte eyeshadow. It's a little bit darker purple. And then I'm going to take my larger 224 brush because the other one was like a smaller handle. This has a larger handle. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the corner or the edge of my eye. And then a little bit in the crease to kind of blend it all out. Going back in with my flat shader brush with the Rendezvous color on it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the MAC pigment powder in the color Frozen White. This is what it looks like. We're gonna put this in the corner like this. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Pigments are really pretty, they just can be annoying with how much they make a mess. I really am liking this, this looks so pretty to me. I'm gonna go ahead and take um, my MAC Fig again with my SE brush and I'm going to just darken the outer eye just a bit. This is the BH Cosmetics flat brush, I don't have the number. But I'm gonna take the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro, I'm going to take the white color right there and we're gonna go into my tear duct area. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the darkest purple. Well, actually, not the darkest purple. I'm gonna take the um, Satellite Dreams and a small brush and just go underneath the eye like that. Very, very lightly. I'm going to take my MAC 266 SE brush and I'm gonna take the Naked Palette smoky palette and I'm going to use black market it's the darkest color in the palette you can use any kind of dark color I just wanted to take this on my usual eyebrow brush my eyes like this this is something new I've been doing I usually don't do this but I've been liking the results this also will probably help you if you have problems or trouble with eyeliner, so that's a good trick. You gotta forgive me, I don't know the name of this. This is, I know it's L'Oreal. It's completely gone on the outside, so I don't know the exact name of the eyeliner, but this is great. This one is my second choice, which is the um, Liner Intense Carbon Black um, Liner. It has a felt tip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that line that I drew with the eyeshadow and follow it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this eyelash curler and curl my lashes without touching my eyeshadow. I gotta be careful with that. I'm not gonna put on mascara. I'm gonna just put on lashes. Just gotta figure out what lashes I wanna put on. So I usually use Ardell Wispies. Those are my favorite. I'm trying out these new BH Cosmetics lashes. Um, they are the D303s. I can't remember if they have like a specific name or not, but I'm gonna try them out. I don't, I don't mind them. 
So I'm gonna straighten out this um, eyelash line, the eyeliner. I always like to do this after I put on uh, lashes because it helps also to cover the line. And then we're going to go ahead and go back over with a pro my Pro Concealer, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Just going to do this really lightly because this is not the only thing that I'm going to do. Just going to focus it up there and I'm going to kind of like angle it like that. I'm going to take my flat shader brush from the BH Cosmetics palette, or I'm sorry, the BH Cosmetic line, and I'm going to work that in to straighten this out, clean this line up, as you can see, and make it trail off like that. And then we'll get the rest later. I'm going to take another BH Cosmetics uh, brush. This is the BH Cosmetics 129 brush. And I'm going to just blend this out very carefully. I am going to add some mascara because I just feel like something's missing. So I'm going to use my favorite L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. We're just going to kind of go to the bottom and blend my real lashes with the fake ones. Do the bottom lashes. Make them come down. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime. I bought this ages ago, so light frost, maybe it's light frost. It's the yellow one. Cause they have like a pink one and I chose the yellow one. So you just kind of push it up like that. Do. I'm gonna go ahead and do the nose. This used to be my OG way of um, doing my face. Like, I would always do this. Use this pen. And then I started just doing concealer. I'm doing this around the nose. Go ahead and lighten this up up here. I'm gonna take my um, Beauty Blender and go ahead and work this in. This beauty blender, I believe, is from Real Techniques. I got it at Sephora. Today I'm gonna actually use the Studio Pro from BH Cosmetics that I used earlier, and I'm gonna take this light color right here because I really want something a lot lighter. I'm gonna use my powder brush from Real Techniques. And we're gonna go ahead and just take that through. Nice. I'm gonna take a um, this big puffy powder brush. Um, this is the Face Secrets powder brush. I don't know, I don't know that brand, but I'm just going to blend this out. Dabbing motion. So it kind of give me an even coverage. I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics 124 brush and then the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro palette, the same one that I was using. This is a really good palette to invest in, especially if you just wanna play with makeup because it has so many different colors and it's really good to use on other people, but I really like to use it sometimes for myself. So I'm gonna use this color right here. I'm really feeling like that one. And I'm gonna go in very lightly, the contour. I'm really excited to play with this because I've seen this everywhere. I don't know what it's called, but it's like too much blush. I'm using the 10 color palette from BH Cosmetics. It is dirty as can be. I've had this so long and I've used two colors already. I think this kind of matches more of what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna mix this color and then probably this color here. I'm gonna mix the two. We're gonna start out on a smile like the apples. Did I already tell you what brush this is? This is the 125 brush. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start in the apples and we're gonna slowly blend this out. I'm actually gonna concentrate more with this color because I think that's the color. I think this one is a little too bright now that I'm seeing it on camera. We're gonna take the blush and go in this way. 
So you're just gonna lightly build this blush right in the center of the face to give you that baby doll look. I'm going to take this lighter color up here and we're gonna hit the nose. And then we're gonna hit, hit the nose. Like you're really just gonna do your nose. Almost like you're sick. So some people like to do this look and then add little freckles here, which is really cute too because it, it, it makes you look like a doll. That's what I think. So I'm taking that powder brush to kind of blend it out. I'm gonna take my NARS highlighter. Oh my goodness, the packaging is so dirty, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what it looks like. This is in the color Miss Liberty. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my nose. Gonna highlight my Cupid's bow. And then we're gonna go to the eyebrows. There's the highlight. Mm, 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 mm. I like it. Now it's time for the lips. I'm going to use the Tarte lip paint for my lipstick. I'm just gonna be very light with it. I dab it in, because I don't want it too heavy. Now I'm gonna take my finger and move that around. I think I wanna add, I think I'm gonna add freckles. So I've never done this before, so don't come for me. I'm gonna take whiskey and we're gonna draw freckles. Just kind of dotting it. Oh no. Go back over. It's really light. I don't mind it. Does it look bad? Hope it doesn't look bad. <laughs> this is what my actual freckles look like. The sunspots that I have, they look just like this. And I think actually that one is real right there. Yeah, that one's real. <laughs> it looks cute. It looks interesting. So there we go. I think that's good. You guys like it? I'm gonna go take down my hair and then I'll come back and like say goodbye. The pink girls turned out okay. I'm not mad at them. It's crazy how much it shrinks your hair. It's so cool though. All right, I think that's the it. that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed doing your makeup with me and kind of just experimenting and doing fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next beauty video. All right, bye. What's wrong with me? <laughs> you look pretty. <clears throat> I love this stuff so much. It's the same one. Aha, that's too bright. Yeah, that could be a look. You know what? Oh, 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 oh,